I am being a physician and involved in the human life. I talk about daily life. If you ask people what is life, very difficult to define. But as far as I am concerned, this is the only, the most precious thing for any human being. That's why Jawaharlal Nehru said in his uh, book, the greatest and dearest possession of man is life, since it is given to him in few but once. So if you lose anything, then wife puts it on, two people put it on, I am friends put it on, one of the evil law of the Kambajana, life puts it on. That's why my whole talk is how to keep this life healthy. Only when you are healthy, you can be happy. With your health, there is not, nothing else. People think they can buy health. That is why now, when I was coming here, <laughs> when you are standing, there are so many five star hotels are coming, not hotel hospitals. Now, this five star culture is because people think they can buy it. You can, you, you know the famous quotation you can buy food but not appetite, you can buy bed, not sleep, you can buy doctors, hospitals but not health. It is in your hand. Health is such an important commodity or personal matter, people think that you can go and buy it. It is wrong. That's why I was telling, nowadays doctors don't feel the purse, they feel your purse. <laughs> how much you are worth, how much they get. <laughs> I'm not, because I was, as she mentioned, I was the youngest and the longest professor in Mario College till 1996, till I retired. But now the whole spectrum is changing. The medical profession, when we started Apollo, the profession became an industry. It's a business. It is said, uh, a doctor now spent uh, nearly one crore to get his MD seat. And then uh, uh, it takes nearly 40 years to get your final degree. So, he has to make things very fast. So, fast life, fast money, fast birth. So, what happens? So, that's why my whole aim is going to be prevention. Prevention is better than intervention. Nowadays, if you don't take care of your health, if you go to the hospital, they will say you need a stent, or they may play a stent, and they may say you have a bypass, and they bypass your whole life. Mm -hmm. So, problem is, if it's cost you, Health is in your salary, you have to do it, and hospital is in your salary, you have to do it. That's why I always say it is not intensive care unit, it is expensive care unit. So to avoid that, you have to take care of your health. I always say doctors can prescribe, but you have to follow it. So first prescription is good health. It is essential for good life. Now, how to take care of the health? Now, unfortunately or fortunately, when I started my practice in the year 1970, when somebody calls me, for always got a But now, for not always got a book done, I am worried. So, it has changed so much. The heart attack is commonest in the young people, in a very, very important stage of their life. And very severe. This is the world statistics. The incidence of heart attack is the highest in the Tamil Nadu and Tamilians. Wherever you are, whether you are in Madurai or in Madras or in New York or in San Francisco, London, anywhere. The reason is we have forgotten our heritage. Now, heritage in India, we get a five star hotel. And then I want to go on a bath attached to the room and shower it up. Even we forget to, we don't want to use the bath. So the lifestyle is totally changing. So number one, prevention of the lifestyle. I remember in Vrindhanaga, to take bath, I have to walk three miles to Nandavana. We have to number one, and then I will say, 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 but that is habit. But now who walks? Everybody is a scooter and scooter is another. My final talk will be stress. The stress of modern life is the maximum cause for the heart attack. The reason is the stress starts from the school, then marriage. Why I mentioned 50 years will be purposely. I don't think most of the Rotarians are like me. If you go outside, even in my own 
family is a major problem.